Hey guys, this is Midget, and welcome to another episode of my Derby Career Mode. Here, we um, started Season 3 of our Derby Career Mode, you know. Um, so, obviously, like, the first 10 or so minutes will be all transfers, and then it will get onto the first game, and that only game of today. But here, um, I think it's Intra Frankfurt, coming with a £4 million bid for Martin when he's valued at 4.5, so I was like, you can get lost. And we put Padermo out to Millwall, but... Um, we also inquired for Michael Jacobs, our former player, that is, I think he's on loan at Derby, right? Not at Derby, he's on loan at Wolverhampton, he's going to come back to Derby, but somehow, um, on the game, he's actually a transfer player, so I decided to put him uh, for 500,000, because I, I figured out, you know, that uh, the League One players won't be worth too much, so that's obviously going to be a bit too much. And I also inquired for Nathan Arkey and Jack... Butland, you know, because I want to strengthen, I think it was my right back, centre back, goalkeeper, and um, left midfielder or so, or right midfielder, you know, one of them, so I decided to put up a, a, a you know, I put, uh, Bayern Munich decided to put up a 2.5 million counter offer, but I offered 1.5 million, and it did accept, surprisingly, for Nathan Arkey, so it looks like uh, Nathan Arkey could be on his way to Pride Park, but um, I decided to put another bid in for uh, Michael Jacobs, you know, was 750000 because I didn't know how much he really cost because I didn't, didn't bother really start scouting him, you know. Um, but here I decided to go and put um, Nathan Arkey, you know, five years in a crucial, important first-team play, sorry. Um, but then I thought, you know, he's not really going to be important first-team play because I looked at his foothead stats and it was 67 rated at the start of the season, um, at start of season one, and it is my third season in career mode, so I, I doubt he's grown too much because, you know, Bayern won't, really wouldn't play him, so I didn't want to, you know, put him as my important first-team player because I've already got two 75 rated players, haven't I, being Carrico and Eric Dier, so he wouldn't really be an important first-team player, he'd be more of a squad rotation, uh, so I decided to put him um, 25 grand is not change, clean sheet bonus of 5%, uh, length of contract 4 years, and squad rotational player, because again, you know, I just told you why. And then uh, Wolverhampton came back with a Nathan Arkey inquiry saying it's not too, uh, it's not good enough, again, just now. And I was like, what the hell do they want? Do they want, like, 1 million? Um, so I decided to give them 1 million directly, um, and... You'll see what I do in a minute that might be quite controversial, but um, I'll tell you guys why when we get to them. And when we get to the bit, excuse me, so I, um, we go to our office or something, I don't know, my shortlist, sorry. And because uh, I played this like a week ago, so I'm not, I'm not fresh on it, but I decided to um, put a bid in for Southampton's Nathaniel Klein, you know, I know he's quite a good player. So by. In that in mind, I put up a seven or eight million bid, uh, rather, for uh, Nathaniel Klein, and I think I put in Keo, um, because again, I don't really need um, Keo as I've got you know my two amazing centre backs. At first, I put in Oviedo, but in the end, I do put up Keo, um, because he's valued at one point one million, and you know I've I've got my two centre backs, uh, so uh, you know. I guess that's a controversial move because I don't have any good centre backs after, but I can play. I can have people that play centre backs, so it's not that bad of a you know a transfer if this goes through. So it looks like Nathaniel Klein could also be on his way through to the Ipro Stadium. And uh, you know we fast forward the time now, uh, just a couple of days later until we get uh, you know our transfers. But uh, uh, Southampton said no, and so did uh, I think Wolverhampton this time. They definitely did because I know I did. I can remember that bit, but Nathan Arkey declined his thingy again, and I was like, okay, I don't really need him, never mind, you know, but I actually do, so I might go for him in the January transfer window, but I decided to go for 6.5 and Keo, so um, I guess that's a very uh, good offer, in my opinion, you know, uh, for from a club like Derby and Southampton, and eventually accept it, you know, and then we decided to put up a, um, I looked at the remaining wage budgets, like, we, had, we only had 25, so Keo must have, like, took uh, uh, pretty much half our wages so you saw what I did there for uh, Nathaniel Klein and it's only a matter of time before he could accept you know so we could have already had Nathaniel Klein and he did accept eventually but I s decided not to accept him straight away I decided just to get a couple of more players just in case um, you know the wages goes um, I need the wages for some players and um, here I go into my shortlist to see who else I can get um, or transfer negotiations, yeah, because I wanted uh, Michael Jacobs. So I uh, put a new offer in for Michael Jacobs, you know, I think it's like 1.5 million or something, uh, 1.25 million, and, and, and 
Yeah, and I put in Will Hughes. I know this is very controversial, guys. Um, I know it's so controversial. Oh, uh, no. Uh, what? I put in Dawkins. Right, they'll... they'll Wolverhampton won't accept this, but I'll eventually put in uh, Will Hughes and they will accept it because I put in Will Hughes because... Think of it. Will Hughes is the same age as Junior Melandi, yeah? And he's two ratings worse. And he's, uh, like, two ratings worse than uh, Jeff Hendrick. Uh, so... I, I was thinking, Hugh's never going to get any game time, so there's no point of, you know, uh, keeping him. So, I, I just could, I could just get the money. But here we accept Nathaniel Klein. Uh, so, Nathaniel Klein is officially a Derby County player. And, again, you know, Wolverhampton declined. So, I'm going to... So, I tell you what I'm going to do now. I'm going to put in Will Hughes. And that was exactly my thought behind this. Um, I think... Uh, that, you know, that Will Hughes isn't never going to get played, to be honest, because he's the same age as Melander, and he's two ratings worse than Melander and Hendrick, and I only play with one centre defensive midfielder, which is going to be Melander, and then Hendrick can be, you know, my uh, sub. Uh, so, basically, yeah. And I see that um, Nathaniel Klein's 78 rated, which is absolutely insane, you know, he's definitely he's my best player now, ratings-wise. And uh, we go into the first preseason friendly game against Augsburg, the German side. And Chris Martin manages to score two goals that win us the game 2 1. And Kieran Freeman gets an injury. And here, I wasn't really thinking about it, you know, because um, I've only got one uh, right back now. So um, I'll sign another one by the end of, come the end of this episode. But. Um, for now, you know, I, I wasn't actually thinking about him getting injured. But we played the um, away game against Torino, and I think we lose. I oh, know we win. Uh, Bryson and Daniel Carrico with the goals. So, Daniel Carrico's first goal for us. Um, but I've still not played, um, you know, to get his first goal. So, I'm not counting that as his first goal. And uh, I decided to get rid of Piazon because he's too. Uh, he's got 60 grand wages every week, and I was like, okay, I'm never going to afford that. But you see, I think I put in like 2 million, and uh, Jesus, man, I put so many thingies in for Michael Jacobs. But eventually, I will put in Hughes, and they'll accept it. So, um, you know, Michael Jacobs is a really good player, in my opinion, you know. So I really, I really rate him, and here I only have three players I want to sign. Um, I signed Michael Jacobs, spoiler alert, sorry about this, I just need to turn the thingy. Um, I don't, I, I don't sign Jack Butland or Nathan Arcus, I'm gonna wait for them in, uh, the January transfer window. But we go into the last game of the preseason against, uh, Villarreal, which we, uh, which we draw, which is a really good, um, thing for Derby County, isn't it, you know? Um, but, uh, again, Wolverhampton declined because, uh, Michael Jacobs was one of their best players, so they didn't really want to get rid of him. So I think I decided to put up 250,000 plus Will Hughes eventually. Um, yeah. No, I, I looked at Jimmy Wood, but then I was like, no. I put in Will Hughes because he's worth so much, isn't he? Um, and, yeah, so eventually like I'm looking for Hendrick, but then I go, nope, I'm not doing Hendrick. I'm going, I might as well do Hughes. Oh, my God, this is so confusing. Yes, so I go up to Hent on my days. Uh, yeah, I do Hughes and 500 grand, right, so, oh, thank goodness, that finally, oh, Jesus, that was such a long period of time, um, but again, Wolverhampton do accept this time, and uh, now we go, it looks, well, it doesn't look like Jacobs is going to come, but I can tell you, he does come eventually, and we put in 24 grand, and a squad rotational player, or an important first team player, important first team player, or squad, oh my god, so much ah important first team player in twenty four grand. I decided to up his wages a bit because he's not he's a crucial first team player at Wolverhampton. So you know I thought he might not accept. Um, that's my thinking about it. But then we get Michael Jacobs. Um, and we still have thirty grand on our wages and two point five million. So I was like, yeah, damn, this is going smoothly. I can sign one more player. Um, but um, uh, then I realised that I need to sign uh, a right back because I don't have a right back, do I? Uh, so here I think. I go up to wisdom and and just look. Uh, I just realise. Um, I, I I decide to get rid of uh, RK. No, not sorry, not RK. Uh, wisdom and Piazon, and and then I look at Jack Butland. But I eventually remember that Jack Butland. I don't. I can't have him because I need a new right back. You know. But I decide to put Lee Grant in this deal because he's thirty one years old, uh, which is exactly ten years older than Jack Butland, and Jack Butland's a better rating than him. So. You know, 
it's worth having these youngsters in the team because they're going to grow. Um, and I decided to put the uh, captain as Daniel Carrico being one of the oldest players in the pitch. And this is all the thingies that you're going to see. All the transfers now we go into the game against Swansea, our first game of the season. Sorry. And I can assure, well, I can't assure, I, I need to tell you that this game is just goals only. It's nothing more than goals. I don't think, maybe, I can't remember when I edited this, but I put my strongest lineup apart from Michael Jacobs uh, for Bryson, you know, because Michael Jacobs is 73 rated. That's the exact same rating as uh, Will Hughes, which, you know, is kind of cool. Um, so, you know, I didn't really overpay for him, you know, 500 grand to Will Hughes. No. Will Hughes is one rating lower than him, so technically I only paid 500 grand for him, uh, which is quite cool. And we're going into the 37th minute, Junior Melander gets the ball, he cuts inside past Chico Flores, decides to smack it at the near post, and Michel Vorm cannot do anything to stop that strike from our Belgian 19-year-old beast, and he opens our goal tally for the new season. And, you know, I would never have expected that, would you? Junior Melander to score the first goal in the season. Um... For Derby County, you know, he didn't score like the whole last season, so uh, I was really surprised to see that, but a really lovely shot. But in the 45th minute, I was dominating the whole game, but he managed to slide the ball through to Wilfried Boney, and he decided to equalise, and I was here, was really raging, because I literally, I had most of the possession and everything, and and shots, so I was really angry, but here in the 56th minute, Ings chips it over to Martin, Martin gets pulled on by Chico Flores, but he manages to finish it perfectly, our best striker rated wise, and you know, he celebrates with Bolly, and he restores us the lead at Pride Park, um, you can see how hard it was for him to get that shot off, but he managed to do it in fine form, and he did uh, just justice, I guess, for, um, you know, for us to get the lead. And then um, Michu gets onto the ball from around, I don't know, 25 yards. And I was like, you're never going to score from there, Michu. But he proved me wrong. And he also proved my point of getting a better keeper than Legends because that was just unacceptable for a Premier League keeper. 25 yards. And yet, and yet, he scored, you know. I'm not taking any, anything away from Michu, but come on, Legends, you have to do something better than that. You know, that that's just, that's just crap. Um, but... Um, in the 87th minute, Martin lovely held the ball off for Ward, and Ward's pace is not going to get caught up by Chico Flores or stuff like that. And he managed to score us the winning goal in the 3-2 win at Dar well, against Swansea, sorry. And you can see Van der Werf at the bottom, he's just there like, yes, we're, we're going to win our first game. And you do win our first game, you know. You can totally see that we deserved that win, you know, rather than them. Um, because we had basically owned them in everything, upset possession. But, I didn't, yeah, t to be honest, I was raging because I was I was winning most of the game. And also because of the goddamn uh, thingy. Uh, but here... Um, we just look for wisdom and you're going to see why I need to sign him but yeah guys so hopefully you enjoyed this episode if you do make sure you're going to uh, give this episode a like another one's going to come tomorrow and yeah so this was it and I'm going to see you guys next time